Word by word, read along with your favorite storyteller, Miss Booksy. The Read Along with Miss Booksy app, available now from Cool School. Welcome to Sweets Cafe, the tale of Little Red Riding Hood and the hot poppin' pizza. Hi, Sweets. What are you looking at? Hi, Rosie. I'll be right with you. Wait. Wait for it. Here it comes. Wow, is that dough? Sure is. You have to throw the dough up high in the air to make a sweet, licious pizza. Flying pizza is totally the best kind of pizza. <laughs> totally. You mix it all together and... Ta-da! My famous hot poppin' pizza. We also do deliveries anytime, day or night. No matter how far you are, you get the pizza in 20 minutes. And if we're late, you get a second pizza for free. Who orders pizza in the middle of the night? You know, owls, bats, raccoons, grandmas. Grandmas? Sure, like Little Red Riding Hood's grandma, for example. Little Red Riding Hood? Don't you know the story? Little Red Riding Hood walked through the forest to deliver her grandma a hot poppin' pizza? No way! Little Red Riding Hood brought her grandma a picnic basket. Who has a picnic in the middle of the night? What? In the middle, middle of the night? Of the night? night? There was no picnic. Little Red Riding Hood brought her grandma a pizza delivery. In fact, it was my famous hot poppin' pizza. But then a wolf appeared. He thought it looked pretty tasty, too. A wolf that likes pizza? That's right. Tell me the story. Okie doke. So this is exactly what happened. Are you ready? Let's go. Pound the table, clap your hands. Off we go to magic lands. Stir the batter, lick the spoon. Hold on tight, we'll be there soon. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Little Red Riding Hood. She kind of looks like me. Now that you mention it, she does look a little bit like you. She and her grandma were best friends. Is that a giraffe out there? A giraffe? I won! I won! Oh, Grandma. <laughs> One time, Little Red stopped by. Hi there. Are you still open? We sure are. Sweets Cafe never closes. We're open 365 days a year, 25 hours a day. 25 hours a day? What's the extra hour for? To finish what I didn't do in the first 24 hours. So, what can I get you? My grandma is sick, but she's really craving some pizza. Well then, you came to the right place. What is she like? Garlic? Anchovies? A grandma slice? That's a New York thing. Pineapple, please. Hawaiian, I like her style. Wait for me here. I just gotta go to Hawaii to get some pineapple. I'm coming right back. Would it take a lot of time? Cause grandma is waiting for me. No, just kidding. I have plenty in my kitchen. Here's my famous hot poppin' pizza. Thanks, sweets. I'm off to go through the very spooky, kind of scary, slightly haunted forest to get to my grandma's house. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're going through the very spooky, kind of scary, slightly haunted forest at this hour? Um, yes? It's getting late. Instead of walking, why don't you take one of my scooters? I'll make you an official pizza delivery girl. Cool. There's just one thing. A sweet pizza has to be delivered in 20 minutes or less. Or else, the customer gets a second pizza free. That's the sweet pizza promise. So hurry up. I'll try my best. Is pizza expensive? Sure is. It costs a lot of dough. Good luck! And remember, watch out for wolves. If you bump into one, don't speak to him. Really? Why? Well, because you can't trust them when it comes to Sweets Pizza. Okay. Thanks, Sweets! Hmm, what is that delicious smell? Time to do something big and bad. No scooters allowed. That's weird. Sweets didn't mention anything about this. Oh well, I guess I'll walk. I could use some exercise before Grandma and I eat this whole entire pizza anyway. Well, hello. Oh. Hi. I mean, your wolf shouldn't say anything. What smells so good? Perhaps someone told you not to speak to wolves when you have a pizza. 
Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid. I am not that kind of pizza wolf. I'm more of a spaghetti wolf. Don't like pizza at all. What a relief. I'm so sorry, spaghetti wolf. Eat. Hiya, just checking in. How's the delivery going? I'm okay. I ran into a kind of creepy wolf while I've been walking through the woods, but turns out he's a nice spaghetti wolf, not a pizza wolf. So everything is fine. Spaghetti wolf? Never heard of one of those. And you're walking? What happened to the scooter? I saw a sign. It said no scooters allowed. Hmm, that's suspicious. Suspicious? Eat, time to go, bye. That's weird. Well, I'm almost at Grandma's house. I'll be there soon. Okay, good, B but hurry up. Remember the sweets pizza promise. Delivery in 20 minutes or less, or the customer gets a second pizza for free. The clock is ticking. I'm on my way. Spaghetti Wolf, is that you? I know what happens. The wolf goes to the Grandma's house and eats her. Not exactly. There's a ballerina, and a policeman, and, well, you'll see. So far, so good. And I think Grandma's home is just around here. Step to the side, please. Step to the side. Uh-oh. Who said that? Hi. Who are you? You're driving way too fast. Give me your driver's license, please. What? I'm walking, not driving. Are you making fun of an officer of the law? Oh, no. I'm sorry, officer. What do you have in the box? Did you pack it yourself? Yes. I mean, no. I mean, it's pizza. Are you trying to fool an officer of the law? You know, I've got a whistle. Of course not. Okay, okay. I think I will have to ask you to give me that suspicious box. Please hand it over. It could be dangerous. Um, are you sure, officer? Because my grandma is waiting for me and... Are you trying to say no to an officer? <clears throat> well... <laughs> Your ears are strange, officer. Are you trying to insult an officer? Uh-oh. Hey, me again. Just checking in. How's the delivery going? Okay. I mean... Not very okay. I ran into a kind of strange policeman while I've been walking. It turns out my pizza is very dangerous. The pizza? My pizza? Did you say policeman? Yes, a very hairy one. Sorry about that, officer. Hmm, that's suspicious. Wolves are hairy. Suspicious? Wolf? Suspicious, time to go. Well, I think he ran away. Okay, good, but hurry up. Remember the sweets pizza promise. Delivery in 20 minutes or less, where the customer gets a second pizza for free. The clock is ticking, just a few minutes left. I'm on my way. Sounds like the big bad wolf will do anything. I'm telling you, wolves love my hot poppin' pizza. Oh! <laughs> And a one, and a two, you can do it too. A three, and a four, please join me some more. <laughs> Ooh. Ow! Are you okay? All good, come, you can join the lesson. Let's join the other girls, shall we? What girls? Enough chit chat, time to dance. Oh, I do like dancing. The girl with the red hood, please come here. Me? Yes, you. How can you be a ballerina while holding that big box? You can give it to me. The box? Um, it's for Grandma. She's waiting for me. Didn't I mention that the great big solo on Saturday's performance is yours? Really? It's mine? Well, of course, you're my very best student. Now, give me the box. <laughs> hey, teacher, look. That's not supposed to happen. Arr, give me the box. Uh-oh. Just checking in. How's the delivery going? Two minutes left. Hmm, okay. I mean, great. I just got a wonderful ballet solo. What? Did you say ballet solo? Yes, the ballet teacher with a tail just told me. Did you say ballet teacher with a tail? Yes. Hmm, that's suspicious. Wolves have tails. Suspicious? Wolf? Yikes, gotta go. Well, I think he ran away. Have I mentioned the sweets pizza promise? 
delivery in 20 minutes or less, or the customer gets a second pizza for free. The clock is ticking. I'm on my way. Special delivery. That's weird. Grandma usually locks the door. Hi, Grandma. Well, hello, little red. Pizza's here. <laughs> Grandma, have your hands always been that big? Oh, the better to hold a slice, my dear. And Grandma, have your teeth always been that sharp? Oh, the better to chew the crust, my dear. Hey, Grandma, have you always been so furry? Oh, the better to get the sauce and the cheese stuck into my face so that I can save some for later. <laughs> My dear. Wait a minute. You're not my grandma. You're that wolf. Get back here. Get over here. I want my hot poppin' pizza from Sweets Cafe. Give me. I'm hungry. Get over here with that hot poppin' pizza. I want that cheesy crust. Oh no. It's been more than 20 minutes and I haven't delivered the pizza to grandma. I'm late. So what does that mean? It means... I have to deliver a second pizza for free. That's the sweet pizza promise. You're surrounded. What did you do with my grandma? I haven't seen her. Okay, how about a trade? We'll give you this extra pizza if you give Little Red back her grandma. Okay, deal. <gasps> <laughs> Sure am. Where the heck is my pizza? And garlic knots. Okay, give me the extra pie and I leave you alone. Ha 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 ha. Sweet pizza. <coughs> Adios. <laughs> oh man, that's no fair. I wouldn't say that. I had a feeling something suspicious was going on. So I may have put some extra ingredients on that pizza, just in case. Who put so much hot sauce in the pizza? Ah! I guess he didn't like extra hot sauce and jalapeno peppers. And that's how Little Red and her grandma shared a delicious late night pizza and lived happily ever after. The end. At the end of the day, a wolf really just loved my pizza. It's sweet delicious. More hot sauce, please. Ah! The wolf, what's he doing here? It's okay, Miss Booksy. He said he was sorry. He's just here for my pizza. Hmm, okay. Enjoy your pizza, Wolf, but I'm watching you. I see you put on a lot of hot sauce. Once you get used to the hot sauce, it's hard to go back. All right, maybe the big bad wolf just wanted pizza. I get it. <laughs> hey, it's me, Miss Booksy. Make sure you click that subscribe button so that you never miss any of my amazing adventures. Can't wait to see you soon for more story time. Hi kids, it's me, Miss Booksy, and it's time for a brand new story here at Cool School. Let's read Chapter 5 of Snow White. At the end of Chapter 4, Snow White had just returned from the Grim Forest with the help of this guy, the Professor. <laughs> Let's see what happens next. Snow White Chapter 5, let's go! The Queen was not happy with Snow White's return. Hi, I'm Snow White, and I'm so cool. Blah. It's time to get rid of her once and for all. Uh-oh. What did you say? I said uh-oh because, um, I haven't told you how awesome you look today, have I? Silly me. You look good, girlfriend. Oh, thank you. There you go, Mr. Squirrel. Keep the cast on for six weeks. And don't get it wet. <laughs> He's totally going to get it wet. Hey there, Snow White. Let's pause for a second. That was Shep Huntsman. A lot of people just called him the Huntsman because he was actually the official hunter for the king. Okay, let's continue with the story. Hi, Shep. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> oh, you know, just hanging out. Cool. <laughs> Sorry, let's pause again. Snow White had a little bit of a crush on the Huntsman. What? He's really nice, and he taught me all kinds of wilderness survival skills. He taught me how to call a turkey. Hello, can I please speak to Mr. Turkey? No, like this. <laughs> and how to make s'mores. Are they done yet? Are they done yet? Are they done yet? He even taught me what to do if I encountered an angry fire-breathing dragon. <gasps> Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? It's you, it's you all. Oh. Anyway, what I mean is he's just cool, <laughs> whatever. 
So, how's it going? Oh, wait, I already asked you that, didn't I? Yoo-hoo, Huntsman Boy, I need to speak to you. Okay, your highness, be right there. No, now! I mean, please. <laughs> you better go, she's been super testy lately. Okay, see you later. See ya. <laughs> Huntsman Boy, I need you to do a job for me. Sure, your highness. I need you to take Snow White out. On a date? A date? With her? Ugh, you have no taste. No, I need you to take Snow White deep into the forest and sell her to the wizard. I don't get it. There's nothing to get. You take her into the woods, you sell her to the weird wizard who will turn her into a frog or something, and then you bring me the money. Why do you want the wizard to turn her into a frog? I don't care if it's a frog or a rock or a bobblehead toy. I just want her gone. I don't think I can do this. It's not nice. Ugh. If you don't do it, I will. And trust me, that's much worse for pretty little Snow White. Why? She's so sweet. That's exactly why. Now run along. You have work to do. This is bad. I mean, you look rad. The huntsman was very upset. He went down to sit by the koi pond. That's where he liked to do his serious thinking. I really like Snow White. I couldn't do anything to hurt her. What am I supposed to do? Meanwhile, Snow White went upstairs to do her chores and talk to her friend, the mirror. Hey, how are ya? The queen is making the huntsman take you out. On a date? No, out in the forest where he's gonna sell you to the wizard. The wizard? He turns people into frogs. Wait, Chef Huntsman would never do that to me. The queen said, if he doesn't, she'll do worse. I think you should run away from the kingdom. This is my home. I'm the princess. It's not safe for you here. You'll find happiness in the forest. Trust me. Snow White knew the mirror wouldn't lie to her, so she went to her room to pack all her prized possessions. Why won't you fit? <sighs> <sighs> You're probably better off here anyway, Teddy. I'll miss you. And I'll miss you too, Lamb. <laughs> and I'll miss you, dollhouse, with a real elevator and a tiny ice cream machine. <gasps> and you, my beautiful dresses. <sighs> I'm going to miss being a princess, but I will be brave. And I will go out into the forest, and I will survive. One day, I will return. Not as a princess, but as a queen. Snap girl, that was fierce. And so Snow White set off to find the huntsman and begin their journey. She was ready for her new adventure. Word by word, read along with your favorite storyteller, Miss Booksy. The Read Along with Miss Booksy app, available now from Cool School. Snow White and the Huntsman set off for their journey into the Grim Forest. It was a little awkward for a few reasons. One, she totally knew he was supposed to sell her to the wizard. Two, he didn't know that she knew that he was supposed to sell her to the wizard. And he was nervous. And three, they were always a little awkward around each other anyway because that's just how it is sometimes. When you kind of like somebody and you hope they like you back. So, uh, the sky is blue. Uh, uh I mean, a uh, nice day, right? Yeah. <laughs> Perfect day for a stroll. Yeah, just a nice stroll through a spooky forest. Look. I know the queen told you to get rid of me. You do? I won't sell you to the wizard, I promise. Psh, like I was gonna let you. What are we gonna do? I packed some basic survival items. Jerky, trail mix, water, jelly beans, first aid kit, oh, and I packed a teeny tiny teddy bear. <laughs> I couldn't get the big one to fit in my bag. I can't just leave you out here. I'll be okay. You taught me all kinds of survival skills. Why don't I stay here with you? Are you nuts? If you stay, then the queen will come looking for both of us. Yeah, that would be bad. I'll be all right. The queen's magic mirror told me so. Come visit me sometime? Of course. Here, take my camping toolkit. It's got all kinds of handy stuff, even fingernail clippers. Oh yeah, I guess there's no place for a mani-pedi out here. Whatever, <laughs> I'll be fine. I better go. Don't want to make the queen mad. See ya, Snow White. See ya, Shep Huntsman. And that's how Snow White began her first day as a non-princess, stranded in the woods with a small teddy bear and a pair of fingernail clippers. Well, I better start setting up camp. 
As Snow White began to work on her new dwelling, the huntsman practiced his spiel for the queen. It had to be perfect. Why, yes, your highness. I definitely sold Snow White to the wizard. He said he'd turn her into a frog in no time. Yes, ma'am. I sold her for... Oh, no! If I sold the princess, then I should have money. I don't have any money. The huntsman checked his pockets for loose change. Nope. He looked in his sock. Nada. He checked his fanny pack where he kept important things like his Phillips head screwdriver and chewing gum. Zip. Zilch. Zero. Wait, I know. To the koi pond. That's where I toss in my coins and make wishes. I wish I could get a puppy. I wish I could fly. I wish I could grow a mustache. I wish I had a hundred wishes. There must be like a million dollars in there by now. Hey, I never did get that puppy or that mustache. That's it. I'm taking my wishes back. Meanwhile, in Grim Forest, Snow White had just finished setting up her new, um, apartment? Perfect. It's shabby chic. <laughs> oh man. Okay, third time's a charm. Excuse me, Snow White? Professor, boy am I glad to see you. What are you doing here? I live here now. <laughs> We're neighbors. Great, there goes the neighborhood. Who's your friend? That's Sassy McSassy Pants. That's your name? I love it. <laughs> My real name is Sasper. It's short for exasperation. No, it isn't. Snow White, you can't live out here like this. Oh, sure I can. I'm not a princess anymore. I'm just a regular girl. Regular girls don't live under a pile of sticks in Grim Forest. Come on, you're moving in with us. No. Hush, Sasper. Oh, I shouldn't intrude. No, she shouldn't. Nonsense. Let's go. Snow White grabbed her bag and followed the professor and Sasper to their little cottage in the woods. She was so excited. I've never had roommates before. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. Back at the kingdom, the huntsman had just gathered enough coins and was off to see the queen. Your majesty. Why are you all wet? Uh, it's raining. Uh, in the woods. It was raining in the woods. Anyway, here's your money. You sold Snow White to the wizard? Yup. He said he was definitely going to turn her into a frog. A frog? Are you sure? Yes, ma'am. You'll never see Snow White again. Well, you might see her as a frog, but it would be hard to tell it's her. Unless maybe she's wearing little yellow frog pants or something. How cute! Now please leave. Okay, your highness. See you later. Now, Muir, tell me, who is the most awesome and wonderful and dazzling person in all the land? Why, it's you, my queen. Obviously. Who else would it be? Snow White? Please, give me a break. As if. Psst. Okay, that's enough. Don't overdo it. That night, everyone went to bed feeling pretty happy. The huntsman was glad he didn't have to sell Snow White to the bad wizard. The queen felt confident that she was the best thing since sliced bread. And Snow White was excited to start this new chapter in her life with her new cool roommates. I'm gonna need a bigger bed. Hey, it's me, Miss Booksy. Make sure you click that subscribe button so that you never miss any of my amazing adventures. Can't wait to see you soon for more story time. Good morning. Good morning! How long have you guys been there? Not long! You drool when you sleep. We're just so excited! We've never had a princess for a roommate, or any roommate at all, except for all of us, of course, and we used to have a dog. Does that count? I think so. Do you want breakfast? Snacky made pancakes! They're shaped like animals! They're the best! You're so perky for so early in the morning. <laughs> What's your name? Kitty! Cute! You fell asleep as soon as you walked in the door yesterday. They didn't get a chance to introduce themselves. I was pooped. <laughs> Leaving your kingdom and roughing it in the woods is exhausting. <laughs> okay, let's do names. Of course I know you, Professor. <laughs> and now you know me and Sassy. I'm Snacky. He's the one who makes the pancakes. I'm the one who makes everything around here. Any favorite foods? Yes. I like corn on the cob, and white cheddar cheese puffs, and snow cones, and club sandwiches. Oh, hold the mayo, though. <laughs> Got it. I'm sloppy. I see. <laughs> I'm clumsy. That's just my nickname, though. I'm actually quite graceful. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I'm OK. Is that everyone? Don't forget me. I'm Tony. Hi. <laughs> well, I'm pleased to meet all of you. <laughs> So, what do you guys do for fun around here? We work. 
What? Work's no fun. Unless you get to work at an amusement park. <laughs> That's probably fun. We work in the mines. Oh, diamond mines? No, salt. Oh, and you have fun doing that? Sure, everything's fun when you're with your best pals. What do you do for fun? I dance and sing and go to parties and play with all my animal friends and read and get in snowball fights and fly kites and ride bikes and, well, yeah, just to name a few. <laughs> but I'll totally go to work in the mines with you guys. I'm no freeloader. You're much too big to go into the mines. Well, I'll work here then. I can clean. I used to clean my stepmother's room all the time. We're not very messy. Right. I'm also pretty good at sewing. I can make you guys matching outfits. That okay. would be amazing. Well, then let me at least make some new curtains. There's a lot of bad feng shui around here. Finally, it was settled that Snow White would spruce up the cottage in exchange for free room and board. She did other little things too, like cut their hair and make a new chef's hat for Snacky. Oh, and she changed all the light bulbs, which was a huge help. Snow White kept so busy that she didn't even have time to miss home. Actually, speaking of home, the evil queen was having a ball without Snow White around. She brought the mirror with her everywhere and showed everyone how it would say that she was the most awesome person in all the land. Ask the mirror if you're the most awesome person. Okay, okay, I'll ask. Mirror, mirror, in my hand, who's the most awesome person in the land? Is it this guy? No, is it her? It's you, queen. You are so awesome. Pretty rude though, if you ask me. Hear that? I'm the most awesome person in the land. Three cheers for me. Oh, yay. Let's have a party in my honor. And I'll save my first dance for you, Mr. Huntsman. I uh, actually can't. I'm busy. Busy? Too busy to attend a party of the queen. What are you doing that's so important? I, uh, have to wash my hair. Yeah, that's it. Okay, bye. The queen knew he was telling her a lie, but she didn't know why. She watched the huntsman from her window as he walked out of the palace and straight toward... Grim Forest? Suspicious. I'll have to follow him and find out what he's up to. Dun, dun, dun! What was that? Nothing. The queen followed the huntsman into the woods. Who's there? What was that? Is someone there? Finally, they stopped. Hey there. Snow White! Hey guys, Cool School has a new store. Book on over at the link below. The queen watched as Snow White and the huntsman talked and laughed. That rotten huntsman was supposed to get rid of her! He was supposed to take her to the wicked wizard and have her turned into a frog! How hard is that? Well, thanks for stopping by. Sure thing. Need anything special for next time? Yes, Snacky asked if you could bring him some marshmallows and graham crackers. We're gonna make s'mores. Awesome, will do. Bye, Snow White. Bye, Chef. And please be careful. If the queen finds out, she'll be very angry and we're done for. Yes, that would be bad, wouldn't it, princess? The queen rushed over to the witch's shop and barged right in. <laughs> Hey, ever hear a knocking? This is an emergency! I need something! Something evil! Yeah, all right. The next day, Snow White had just finished her chores when a little old woman popped out of nowhere and said, you my lady! I'm but a poor peddler woman selling shoes door to door! Shoes? Oh, I don't have much money. They're on sale! They're so pretty! And just your size! You deserve a treat! Well, I guess I could just take a look. Try them on! These are beautiful! I don't think I can afford them. No, they're free! <laughs> free? Why? Snow White started to go after the old woman to insist on paying her, only to realize... I'm stuck! What? No! No! I'm turning to stone! Why? Help! 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 Oh no! 
Snow White had become a statue from head to toe. She didn't even know what you and I know, that the old woman had really been the evil queen. Goodbye forever, Snow White. <laughs> the queen went back to her kingdom, happy to be rid of Snow White. She marched straight towards the magic mirror. Question, why did you say I was the most awesome person in all the land when we both know you favor Snow White? But Snow White is gone, my queen. She is now. But since you're such a wise, all-knowing mirror, you must have known she's been in the grim forest all this time. Oh, see, when you said in all the land, I thought you meant around here, like in this kingdom. I didn't know you were counting grim forest. My bad. Well, it doesn't matter. She's gone forever this time, and you better watch your back. Ooh. The evil queen was also quite angry with the huntsman. She put him in jail and threw away the key. Wait, I didn't have dinner yet. Oh man. Meanwhile, back at Grim Forest, the dwarves were just coming back from work. What's that? Looks like a statue. It looks like Snow White. Cool. I want a statue that looks like me. Snow White, Snow White, come out here. There's a statue and it looks just like you. Wait, I think this is Snow White. It must be an evil curse from that evil queen. She's so evil. The dwarves were so upset, they didn't know how to reverse a curse, and they didn't know whether Snow White could think or feel in there, or if she truly was made of stone. What if she's scared? What if she gets cold? We have to move her inside. The dwarves tried with all their might, but they couldn't move Snow White. Professor, do you know any ways to reverse a spell? Well, let's see. Maybe she could kiss a frog. Here! <laughs> Why do you have a frog in your pocket? Why not? It's cute! Okay, let's reverse this spell. Alakazam, Abracadabra, Kalamazoo! What's you? It's no use! We don't know magic! We could go to a witch. But the witches live in the scary part of the forest! We'll just have to be brave! Yes! We have to save our friend! The professor and Giddy set off to find a witch to reverse the spell, while the rest of the gang stood watch to guard and protect Snow White. Ah! Shoo! Go away! What if we can't reverse the spell and Snow White is a statue forever? Don't worry, Tiny. We'll have a happy ending. I just know it! Word by word, read along with your favorite storyteller, Miss Booksy. The Read Along with Miss Booksy app, available now from Cool School. Professor and Giddy were on their way to find a way to save their friend Snow White, bravely trekking through the grim forest. Ah! 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 Okay, well, at least they were trying to be brave. But hey, at least they were willing to face their fears and help a friend, right? The two finally found what they were looking for. Ye old magic shop! Hello! Hi! Ding, 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 ding! Ah! I mean, hello! I'm Giddy! Good for you! And I'm the professor! We need to reverse an evil spell! What kind of spell? Our friend was turned to stone! That worked? Wow. Uh, all right, I mean, uh, let's see what I have in the antidote department. That means stuff that undoes bad stuff. But you're a professor, so you probably already knew that. Yes, I did. I didn't. I love learning new words. Ah, here we are. Now we just toss it in the cauldron. And... While Giddy, Professor, and the Witch mixed up the antidote, or stuff that undoes bad stuff, the evil queen was back at her castle thinking, which is never a good thing. Snow White's turned to stone, but why don't I feel any better? I should be glowing, relaxed, happy. Mirror, do I look happy to you? Uh, you look, yeah. Look at that smile. No, this is no good. How do I know some dingbat isn't gonna stumble along and reverse this spell? I'm sure it's fine. Nope, I'm going back to take the statue. The evil queen strikes again. Wake up, guys! It's time to save Snow White! We have the antsy goat! That means stuff that undoes bad stuff! Right, Professor? Something like that. But yes, guys, we can reverse the spell! Wait! Where's Snow White? Snow White! Snow White, where are you? Guys, she's a statue. She can't answer you. Oh, right! Statues can't talk? I got it! Snow White, blink twice if you can hear us! Gee, great plan. Well, if you had been guarding her, she wouldn't be lost. Me? I wasn't the only one. What about you? Oh, pretty please stop fighting. I don't like it. Giddy's right. 
We have to work together. It's no use. She's either been stolen. Statue net! Or maybe she came back to life and she left. No, she wouldn't just leave like that. I bet the evil queen took her. Of course. Well, we have to go find her. Operation Guns No Way and Hunt Statue Fire can defeat the evil queen forever. I love it. OK, team name. How about the seven cool dudes? Blech. I'll consider that a yes. It was official. The seven cool dudes were on their way to save Snow White. Hey, it's me, Miss Booksy. Make sure you click that subscribe button so that you never miss any of my amazing adventures. Can't wait to see you soon for more story time. Well, there's the castle. Now what? We storm the gates and find Snow White. Wait, there's Snow White now. I have the witch's antidote. We'll just go up and turn her back to her old self. Hey, Professor, over here. Why are you in jail? The queen locked me up for trying to help Snow White. I don't know what you're planning to do, but be careful. Uh-oh, we came to help Snow White. Huh? I thought Snow White was with you guys. She's here? Um... Oh, that's just a statue. The queen put it there to torment me. Actually, we think that's the real Snow White. No! We're not sure, but we think so. But we have a potion from a witch that could change your back. Well, what are you standing here talking to me for? Go save Snow White! But the huntsman said that just a wee bit too loudly, and yep, you guessed it. Suddenly, there was the evil queen standing right between the dwarves and Snow White. Save Snow White? Never! We will save her! Aw, you seem so upset. How sad would you be if I smashed that statue into a thousand pieces? No! no! Watch me! Okay, guys, it's time to fight back. But I'm a lover, not a fighter. Today, we're all fighters. Now let's get that evil queen. The dwarves grabbed the queen's legs and stopped her in her tracks. Get off me! Get off! Not until Snow White lives and you're gone forever. The queen tried to move forward, but it was no use. But then she spotted the witch's spell-reversing potion in the professor's hand. Give me that! No way! Got it! <laughs> now get off me! Then the professor had an idea. You want us to let go of you? Yes! Let go! Okay! Let go, guys! <laughs> All right. But she has the spell-reversing antidote! But luck would have it that the evil queen dropped the antidote and it fell right smack dab on Snow White's head! It doesn't work! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> What's everybody crying about? And why are all these pigeons on me? Shoot, birds, shoot! Snow White, you're alive! Of course I'm alive, why wouldn't I be? But wait, why am I back at the castle? And Shep, why are you in jail? The evil queen put me here! No, where is she? Over there! Owie! I'm confused. It's a long story. I'll tell it! I love long stories! I'm all ears, but first, we gotta do two things. Let's bust Shep out of jail and put that bad apple in his place! Yeah! No! Sorry, majority rules, evil queen drools. <laughs> that rhymed! Yay! Once the evil queen was locked away in jail, Shep, the dwarves, and Snow White all kicked back and relaxed, happy as could be. Wait, no, there was one thing missing. Snow White, my darling daughter. Dad! That's right. Remember back in Chapter 2 when I told you that Snow White's dad was away at the semi-annual royal symposium? You know, the place where kings and queens go to learn royal stuff. Well, he was back. Dad, I missed you. Where's the queen? Long story. Oh, yippee! Let me tell it. I love long stories. Now, how's that for a happy ending? <laughs>